welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda and I'm so happy that you clicked on this video and I'm very very happy that I can give you my hair tips to you so you don't make the same mistakes as the hair fails that we are going to see. First of all, can I ask you to subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on TikTok because I'm reacting on hair fails also on TikTok. <laughs> So before we start, can I ask you also to visit these creators that we are going to see in the compilation and you can follow them. Maybe there are some uh, creators that you really like, but you didn't discover them. So maybe there's a new chance to find out a new YouTuber, but because everybody deserves a chance to be big on YouTube. Hmm, is this a good idea? No, don't do it. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Don't do this at home. It protects it, it gives it a barrier between yeah, your scalp and your hair. It doesn't strip all your oils out of your hair or strip the oils out of this. I find that it helps so much. So every time you bleach your hair, lather it in this and then apply the bleach on top of the coconut oil. There are two things that I'm allergic to. This is quick blue and coconut oil. These are two things that nearly always are in hair fails. Quick blue and, co and coconut oil. These are the two things. It's always starting with one or the other or maybe the two. Maybe I should make t-shirts with quick blue is quick dead. So this is what we've got going on over here. And um, we've got the bleach powder. Just a big old tub. Peroxide, I'm using 30 volume, which is pretty high. What are you trying to achieve? What is your goal? So today I'm actually going to be going a peachy coral color. Okay, peachy. That is all in now. I'm going to let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. Are you ready for the reveal? Yes, I knew this was going to happen because I had the red in my hair, so I'm going to have to apply another beat of uh, it. I'm going to have to apply uh, the bleach bath to it and also to my roots again. So the second lot of bleach is on. You can see it's like lightening a lot more, um, but because it took me quite a while to do it all. Um, the front has developed and it's ready to wash out and the back's not. So I'm only gonna leave it on for maybe another five, 10 minutes and then wash it all out and hopefully it's blonde. It's a really nice tattoo. Okay, so as you can see, I'm bloody orange, which we all knew that was happening. Uh, my roots took took really, really well. They're pretty platinum. Yellow. But the rest of it is still too dark, so I'm just gonna have to dry it and see how it looks, and then go from there. Okay, the time has come to mix these two together. So this will be my dye. Okay, let's do it. So the worst thing ever happened. I ran out of dye, and I have nothing. And I the roots will be peachy. So now that my roots are gonna be like fluoro bright pink and the rest of my hair is going to be yellow. So I'm literally going to have pink roots and yellow hair. So, funny story. I'm going purple now. <laughs> You're probably thinking, why? Why? And the reason is because I really don't think this matches my skin tone at all. Even if I made it a bit more peach, went a bit darker, I don't know, I just, I'm sick of it already. This is the proof that you have to go very, very, very platinum to have this peachy result. Also, the eyes and the silver. You have to go as white as possible. You have to go as white as, as this counter. You have to go as white as this iPad. The more white it is, the more eyes, silver, peachy, pink it will be. If you have two different colors, like blonder on the regrowth and darker orange on the length, you know it will not even it out. With these crazy colors, it's really difficult with this crazy color. I worked with crazy colors. If I worked in the salon, and it was like 91, 92, 93, the beginning of the 90s, there was already crazy color. The brand crazy color was already existing. So I know what crazy color is. It has to be very, very blonde. Uh, there are other colors like red and, and all, it's not has to be blonde, but peachy, uh, pink, um, rose, gold, uh, silver, uh, icy. You know, this has to be as white as possible. And also, 
people are complaining that these colors, these pastel colors, doesn't last long. It's normal. They doesn't la it doesn't last long. But these last pigments that you say, oh, it's nearly out, you can you cannot get them out or for some reason. They are direct pigments and they are really stuck in your hair. So it fades very quickly, but the last pigments, it's really hard to get them out. I'm just like, I went to sleep last night and I was just like, I'm done. Let's change it already. So we're gonna do purple today. Bye bye. Okay, so that's all in now. I'm gonna leave that for about 30 to 45 minutes. I think I've got more on my face than I did on my hair. It stains on your skin because it's direct pigments. You have to work very clear. Oh. <laughs> Again, the same problem. Because the lengths were not white enough, blonde enough, it's not the same color. You see, it works very good on the roots. Color. I think that will eventually fade if I keep dyeing it. But this is what we're left with. So this is how the hair turned out in the end. It's really bright in the roots, you can see. It would be very nice for her okay. if it's completely purple. But... Once I continue dyeing it a little bit more, I think the purple will stick a bit to the ends. Because it's sort of faded. But I don't mind. Is this actually happening? Am I, I don't going know. to do this? I do not have a very strong relationship with my hair. I'm not one of those girls where, you know, can't live without my hair, can't get it wet in the rain, love my hair. That's not me. That is not me. This is probably a really bad idea, potentially, potentially not. But as soon as I get any little glimmer in my brain of, oh, her hair looks nice short, oh, my hair that I quite enjoyed when it was short. Oh, I want to cut my hair short. Basically, minimum here, maximum here. So we're sort of aiming for like inch and a half difference. So we're straight end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a mirror to just go here. Mirror acquired. So we've just got a mirror literally just there. Right, how are we going to do this? What to do? What to do? You have to put your hair behind your ears and cut it behind your ears. The more you cut it in the front, the more uneven it will be in the back. Right. Underneath, oh my God. I am underneath the elastic. Okay, okay, I was in shock. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't go back. No. And it's not a kitchen scissors or a craft scissor. Oh my Christ. Oh my Christ. Okay. It's so thick. It's one thick, thick piece. This is like the thickest ponytail I've ever cut through. Because <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> She's having fun. Oh my also, god. Also, very anxious. It's casual. It's a casual thing. This one will take about four seconds. Take a good look. Because it's so much thinner. That it's even. <gasps> You're putting your head aside. You don't know, you don't know if it's even. Okay. Wow. But in the back it will be longer. Now this is where I don't really know what to do next. I think take out, assess, and then I'm going to lay, layer by layer sort this inevitable mess. Okay. <laughs> oh no! It's short. You wanted that short. You said through oh here was, minute, was maximum. This is shorter than I was thinking. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's uneven. Okay. Oh, Look at the back. Nice. Look oh, at the back. Oh my god, I'm free. Look at the back. I'm free. Look at the back. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, that's not meant to be there. <laughs> this may have to be like an unintentional layer because I don't know if I can chop it all that short. <laughs> oh no, I've not checked the back. I'm gonna let you see the back first. Thank you. I will warn you, 
from past experience, the back is normally the worst. So, what do you think? Oh no. Oh no, what's that? It's because over projecting to the front, and then you have this long piece in the middle. Am I mad for saying, apart from that really bad looking bit, it's looking quite straight? Which isn't a bad thing. Um, um, what length do we fancy, lads? What length? Let's just do that. Um, too short, probably. I've got a full on bob. So I also want to do a little bit of this thing. This thing? You know, this thing? Yes, point cutting. A, a little bit of this thing. That's good. Watch your fingers. It's good, yes, that's the way to do it. Yes. You have to ask somebody to do the back. Oh, this, is, this isn't gonna work, is it? You have to ask somebody. Okay. Am I delirious? Well, I think this side is looking pretty good. I mean, a little bit of blending or whatever. Point that thing. This side, not this side. Hey, I've gotten bored. I can't be bothered to do it. If you're not stupid like me, you will go to a hairdresser's. I am just a big fat idiot. I really love having blonde hair. I've always wanted blonde hair. For years and years I tried to get it and I could never get the right color. But um, I finally was able to get the color I wanted. It's kind of an ashy blonde. The only issue I'm having is like every two weeks I have to tone it. And my hair just keeps getting Orange, you see that? It just keeps going back to brassy, but because these are extensions, they stay the same color. So you can kind of see the difference here. So this time I... The reason that your hair is going back to yellow, like normal, like everybody saying brassy, uh, we say warm or yellow tone, because your hair, if you bleach it, if you go to blonde, you will melt down all these yellow pigments, but also, melting down the proteins inside your hair. So your hair is also wanted to be restored. And if you put some conditioners on it or treat deep treatments, you're restoring your hair, you're building again the proteins, and while the proteins are rebuilt in your hair, the yellow pigments are also rebuilding. So this is why these ash colors will not stay as long. You have to put every time a toner on your hair to keep up with the silver color. That's normal. If your hair is going to be healthy again, it will be warmer. Or you have to be uh, a natural ash blonde, then it's your nature. But normally, the yellow pigment will come back if you're restoring your hair. And you have to restore your hair. It's not okay. I hear people say now, oh, so if I want to have a silver color, I don't restore my hair. It will stay silver. Don't do that. You have to restore it, otherwise it, on some point it will break off and you end up with a head like me. You don't want that. You don't. Let the kids choose and my husband said he wanted it to be a more natural color and I didn't want to go to brown or black so um, the kids picked this color. That's really... How many bottles did you buy? Because you have a lot of hair. Okay. And will the extensions I mean, color? It doesn't smell as bad as regular hair dyes. Some hair, some hair extensions doesn't color easy. You have to ask the hairdresser that's putting the extensions inside if you can color these extensions. dried my hair and straightened it gave it just a little bit of curl at the end um, this is the color that it turned out it's not it's even kind of like 
I know, peachy orange. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, <laughs> thinking about dyeing it again with the same stuff to make it an even more natural orange. Well, not natural, but like more orange. Um, I like the, the different tones in it. I will say, I will say that if you have almost platinum blonde hair or very light ash blonde like I did, it's not gonna come out as vibrant as on the box. If you wanna go from blonde to brown or copper or red, you have to pre-pigment your hair. You know, you have to put some pigments before the coloring. We call it pre-pigmentation. Otherwise, if you put, if you put a, 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 a copper color on white hair, it will be so bright and it will be ugly. So you be like a clown. Uh, so you have to pre-pigment your hair to make sure that the color will stay longer Otherwise, it will fade out very quickly. It will have a very faded color and even if you have blonde and You put a brown on your head. It can be green because yellow and blue In brown there is a lot of red pigments and you have yellow pigments or you have a blue pigment and an orange pigment. All these pigments are mixing and you can have a green result. Not as green as the grass, but you have a very greenish look. So if you are blonde and you put brown on it, the possibility you have a green hairstyle, it's very big. So this is also the problem with the last one. So the color is uneven. It's not as bright as she wanted and it will fade out as quickly as possible. So. If she put it again the same color, it will be okay because the color that she used now will be used as a pre-pigmentation and the second one will be the coloring. That's also possible. So then you have to color it twice. You have a lot of tips about my compilations. You like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is, ciao kiss.